Thanks for Cash from Enraged Hippo Fitness. Today's video is going to be about how to make your own liquid chalk. So now, um, just a couple bits of uh, reasons why I'm doing this video. First of all, liquid chalk costs a dime on the market. It costs anywhere between six and twelve pounds for a tiny, I don't know, for a tiny 150 millil milliliters to 250 milliliter bottle. And for that, for that, it costs what six to twelve pounds, as I was saying. And that, I think, is a major ripoff considering all the ingredients that go into making the liquid grip or the liquid chalk that they give you on the market. Um, so as a consequence of this, I have brought up a couple ingredients and I am going to make my own liquid chalk, which is going to be, I promise you, just as effective as the liquid chalk you buy from shops. Now, uh, first of all, a couple of, in a couple of things you'll be needing. You'll be needing an empty bottle, something to put your liquid chalk in. I have used uh, an empty shampoo bottle, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make liquid chalk up to half the way to the bottle. Um, as you can see, this red line here, this is about as high as the liquid chalk is going to go. Uh, the rest of the bottle is going to be used for shaking. Um, of course, we have some powdered chalk. I bought this from Amazon and it cost me about £4, uh, no cost of shipping included, which is always good. Uh, it cost me, as I said, about £4 and uh, that basically got sorted for about 60 grams of uh, powdered chalk. Sorry, 60 grams for a block of chalk, which I've powdered most of and put into this container, as you can see. Um, and the final ingredient, which is probably the most difficult to acquire, would have to be rubbing alcohol. Now, the biggest thing with rubbing alcohol is the fact that you need the right type of rubbing alcohol. The chemical name for rubbing alcohol is called isopropyl alcohol. And various uh, types of isopropyl alcohol have different, have different uses. Some could be corrosive or uh, hazardous to the skin, and usually they are not uh, used to be taking in to be consuming. Um, so I didn't want to get all messed up with the sort of the type that I required, and I thought to myself, I'm just going to buy the standard rubbing alcohol from Amazon. Again, I got this from Amazon, and this cost me uh, a total of four pounds, including shi including shipping. It's about two pounds for the actual product and two pounds for shipping. Um, so that was the final ingredient. And um, also, you'll be needing uh, a container with hot water, I won't say too hot, around warm to hot, just a bit warmer than uh, the standard warmth of water. Uh, you'll, be needing, you'll be needing a container of the water. Uh, it shouldn't be a water bottle, it should rather be a container or a big, or a big beaker, such as a big protein shake glass like I have here. And I will show you what to do with that later. So, step one, I put the rubbing alcohol that I have into my bottle and as you can see, I've already done that. Um, I filled it up to about a quarter of its length, a uh, quarter of its height, sorry, and uh, I've done this before the video so that I would, so that I, would, uh, so that I could avoid any spillage. And now the second step is to add your liquid chalk, is to add your uh, powdered chalk. What I've done to this chalk is, you can see, I'll just show you. What I've done to this chalk is, I've, pow I've tried to crush as much of it as I possibly can. I've powdered, um, I've powdered basically the bit of chalk that I want to go into the bottle. And from this point onwards, you want to be careful to not get chalk all over the place. Uh, so, as I'm talking to you, I'm just powdering it, I'm just uh, crushing up the last bit of chalk with my spoon here. And it's all going in right now. Right, everybody, we're back. I have just finished adding the uh, powdered chalk to my solution. 
and um, as I said, the proportions of alcohol and solution you want to add really do vary uh, upon the thickening of the mixture. And what I mean by that is you have to basically do it by eye. If you think that the mixture is too runny, as you might see, uh, if, if you think the mixture is too runny, then what you need to do is add more powder. If it's too thick, you need to add more alcohol. Um, but the main thing is you add enough of both to get a nice thick mixture, the sort of thickness that you will see in conventional uh, liquid chalk that you buy. Now, I've added, um, show you, I've added the appropriate amount of my uh, chalk and uh, rubbing alcohol, and now there's one last step, there's, uh, there's two more steps, and they're quite easy. The second to last step is simply to shake the bottle as hard as you can for about, I don't know, two minutes. So I've been shaking already, and the, uh, the idea to this, the idea of shaking everything is to make sure the solution is nice and mixed and also to get any bits of chalk which haven't been crushed so that they're crushed nice and evenly and they're distributed with the, rubbing with the rubbing alcohol to form a nice solution of the liquid chalk that you're after. So, I'm just going to be shaking the bottle. Now, um, I've just finished shaking the bottle, uh, you open it, have a look, and pretty much the, the desired effect should be a nice sort of creamy thick solution that you can easily squeeze out of the bottle. Uh, we're almost there now, the final step to this is to get your beaker of water or whatever it may be, and basically uh, the water should be warm as I said, you put it in dunk it in uh, and leave it to stand for about five minutes, just five minutes. And uh, so I'm dunking the entire thing in for about five minutes. And uh, I'm not going to run this video through the entire five minutes, uh, but the idea of running, uh, of putting the bottle inside of a beaker of warm water for the next five minutes or so is to thicken, is to keep the, uh, is to evenly distribute the solution to keep it nice and thick so that when you open the bottle it will look just like normal um, liquid chalk. Now after the five minutes it's uh, good to use so I will demonstrate quickly now um, so let me wipe down the bottle. Uh, final part is user demonstration, as I said. So open the bottle, and here it is the moment of reckoning. So here we are. Just show you there. One, two, three, and the last smudge of four. And now what I'm going to do is rub. Until my hands are basically entirely covered and just let them catch a bit of the air. Until my hands look like they are more or less covered in liquid chalk. And now, it will be just like conventional liquid chalk, it keeps your hands nice and gripped. Uh, to any bar that you need it to and that's it that's the end of the video so as I said the last step is to keep it submerged in a, a beaker of uh, warm water for about five or so minutes um, but obviously I took it out just so that I could demonstrate the the effectiveness of the chalk and to be honest uh, usually you might need to put a bit more on for most conventional liquid chalk tubs but to be honest, I don't see that I need to at all. Uh, I've gotten the mixture just right, and the chalk is pretty much distributed into my hands quite nicely and quite evenly. I can't wait to try this. I can't wait to try this out at the gym tomorrow. So it's great.
Thank you for watching, guys, uh, and see you next time.